Hi guys, my name is Casey Pollard and today we're going to learn a little bit about some math. So today we're going to learn some addition and subtraction problems using some fun games. And at the end, I'm going to give you guys a list and some free online games you can play any time of the day you want to kind of buff up those math skills. So let's get started. So today we're going to be using something called a 10 frame to do our activities. So all this means is it's just a box with 10 squares in it. So to make these, first just make the big outside rectangle, then draw a line straight down the middle, and then do five long lines going the opposite direction so you have 10 individual boxes or two rows of five. And you can easily fit more than two of these on a piece of paper. I just stuck with two for today's purposes. So first we're gonna do a little activity using some m and m um, you can use anything you have on hand at home that's just like a small enough um, object that will fit in a square. It doesn't have to be candy, it doesn't have to be M&Ms, but I thought that would make our activity a little fun today. So for the first one, we're just going to shake up our M&Ms and then I'm going to pour some in my hand and we're going to sort these M&Ms by color. So first, I'm going to start with blue. So I'm going to lay each color of M&M on a different row of our 10 frames. So let's start with blue. So we have one, two, three, and four blue. So one, two, three, four blue. Now our next color I'm gonna put in the next row. So these are red, so it's one, two, red. And then the next color I have is orange. So I'm gonna put that in the row down here. So I have one, two orange M&Ms, okay. And then I just have one yellow. Okay, so now let's do some math with our M&Ms. So we already counted up how many is in each row. So now let's do some addition problems with these. So for addition, that means the word and. So whenever you're adding something, you're taking all those numbers and putting them all together in the same group. So a way you can think about that on a tens table is you're counting up everything within, say, this table. So if I ask you how many blue M&Ms and red M&Ms are there in this tens table, I'm asking you to add the blue and the red M&Ms. So first we're gonna count up all of our M&Ms in these squares. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our total is six. That means four plus two is equal to six. So that's how many blue and red we have. Now let's take the same problem, but if I ask you how many red M&Ms are there in this 10th square, I'm asking you to subtract the blue from the red to figure out how many red there are. So all I'm gonna do is just take them away. If I'm subtracting, I'm gonna take them away from my 10th square because I really just wanna know what the other color is. So you would just count them up. There's one, two red. And before, there's four blue. So that means six, the total here, six minus these four blue when they're taken away is equal to two. So six minus four is equal to two. Now let's move on to our second tens frame. So again, why don't we start with some addition? So if I ask you how many M&Ms are in this whole bottom tens frame, I'm asking you to add or put in the same group these orange and yellow. So that means just count up all the M&Ms in these tens frames. So that's one, two, and three. That means two, plus one all together equals three because you have one, two, and three. Now let's do the opposite and let's subtract. So if I ask you how many yellow M&Ms are there in this 10 square, all we have to do is take away the other color that's not yellow. So the only one left is one yellow M&M. So that means when you say three minus two, orange is equal to one. So, so three minus two is equal to one. 
So that's one way you can use these stem frames is just separate it out by color and moving the M&Ms around, you're adding and subtracting M&Ms from the tens frame and then you can see how many are left when you do that. Another way you can use a tens frame is to just look at a addition or subtraction sheet. There's a lot of them found online. Um, so these are just some sample problems I found online um, that I thought we could go through today. So the first problem is what is three plus seven? So for an addition problem in a tens frame, what you have to do is fill out the first number. So the first number is three. So one, two, and three. And then just fill out the second number in the frames. So plus seven. So I'm just gonna go directly behind it. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that is three, these first three, and then I'm just adding them all to the same group plus the seven I laid out here. So to answer this question, we're just putting all these M&Ms together in a group, okay? So all you have to do is count up how many M&Ms you see. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So three plus seven is equal to 10. Another way you could answer this problem is by looking and seeing that our whole tens frame up here is filled out. And how many squares are there in a tens frame? 10. So that means all these are filled, so the answer is 10. So three plus seven is 10. Great, okay, let's practice another problem. So let's practice a subtraction problem. How about what is six minus five? Now to do subtraction problems on a tens frame, all you wanna do is fill out the first number. So I'm gonna fill out six boxes, okay? Okay, so those are six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So in subtraction, we're taking something away, right? So we're starting with six, and then we wanna take away five. It says minus five. So what we're gonna do is take away five M&Ms from the six we have laid out. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I just took away five M&Ms from the six total we started with. And now we're gonna find our answer by looking how many M&Ms we have left in our frames. We only have one M&M left, right? So the answer is one. So six minus five is equal to one. Okay, let's do another problem. And again, let's switch back and do some addition. So what about, what is four plus four? Okay, so for addition problems in our tens frame, we're just gonna start with one number, right? And fill it out first. So we're saying four, so fill out four boxes. Okay, and then what is four plus or and four. So that means we're going to put it all in the same group, right? So we're just going to keep adding the other number. So filling out four more boxes here. Okay. So now it's addition. So I added these two numbers together in all my boxes. Now I want to see what is the total when they're all grouped together in this and or plus a problem. So just count up how many squares we have filled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So four plus four is equal to eight. Okay, and let's do one more and let's do subtraction again. How about, let's do a little bit of a harder one. What is 12 minus five? So first it's a subtraction problem. So I'm asking you to take away something. So let's fill out the first number, so 12. So we're gonna fill out actually a whole 10 square plus two more on a second 10 square because our first number is 12. So it's a pretty big one. Just fill out. Okay, so this is 10 in one tens frame. And then we're gonna go and start filling out the second one. So this is 12. All of these together are 12. The problem is asking you what is 12 minus five. So we're subtracting so we're gonna take away M&Ms. We wanna know how many is left when you take away five. So let's start doing that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, and five M&Ms. So we're taking away five M&Ms, okay? So now we just have to count how many is left when we took away five M&Ms from our starting 12 M&Ms. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what is 12 minus five, guys? The answer is seven because we have seven M&Ms left when we took away those five M&Ms just a minute ago. So 12 minus five is equal to seven. So those are just some quick examples of how you can use a tense frame at home to pra practice some subtraction and addition. Um, again, you can find any of those simple little math problems I wrote down using um, online sheets for free that kids commonly actually get in classrooms, which is some subtraction and addition problems, and then use those filling out a tense frame. So as promised, now we're gonna talk about some free online resources. So these are free online games that I found just looking around on the internet. They're all math related and you can actually go on the internet and on each of these websites, separate out which games you wanna play based on what grade you're in. And that's K through sixth grade. So pick what grade you're in now or what grade you're gonna go into. And there's a whole bunch of different lists of different games you can play and they're all focused around math, but trust me, they're a good time. So our first one is called Splash Learn. So if you type in splashlearn.com, they actually have more than math there, but um, they did have some pretty good math games that you could use. The second one is called Math Playground. Our third one in all capitals is ABC, capital Y in lowercase a. So it's abcyeah.com. So if you just Google ABC Yeah, it will come up for you and it's a website with some free games as well. And then the last one is called mathgames.com. So again, if you're ever bored in the house, if you wanna play some cool games online and buff up those math skills to impress everybody next year, go check out some of these cool websites. All right, well, that's it guys. I hope you had some fun today and learned a little bit about math. Have a great day.